All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakat Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. Today's lesson comes from a young slave rapper named Young Dolph. As you can see what it's entitled, this is one of his songs, or uh, one of the songs that kind of got kind of big, and you know, uh, and you can see on the uh, call log he have uh, Ho Gotti Baby Mama, Miss Call 24. So who Ho Gotti is this Yo Gotti guy from North Memphis, and Yo Dolph, Young Dolph is from uh, South Memphis, from uh, Castalia, but and I had to use this for, uh, you know, uh, just a, you know, something to make a lesson on. And this is not really pointing a finger at at this particular woman, but I'm just using her for an example. Now, this could be any woman or all women, okay, for that, you know, for lack of better words, <laughs> you know. I mean, because... And think about it, the scripture tells you that. So let's get this first uh precept. Uh uh book of Ecclesiasticus chapter twenty five and verse twenty four says of the beginning so like it. it says of the beginning it says of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. Now and that and, and that's the beginning of sin, which was uh, you know, uh, uh, the instance with uh, Adam and Eve, and Eve, you know, transgressed the law by uh, taking on the philosophy of the wicked. Now that now the the scripture tell you that she ate off a tree. Now that tree was uh, uh, symbolizing uh, 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 a, a wicked philosophy. That's why. The Lord told her, him and her, which Adam and Eve, not to eat from that tree. Now that eat, the word eat is uh, is going into uh, uh, take take hold of uh, you know that philosophy, a wicked philosophy. And it says, verse twenty five says, "Give the water no passage neath a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad, meaning not letting her go any places." You know, different places. Let's look up this word gad. Well, let me see. Maybe I can't look it up like that. Yeah. Let's look the word up gad. And it says, uh, here we go. Go around from one place to another in pursuit of pleasure or entertainment. So the Lord tells you not to let the woman. It says, give the water no passage. Meaning, not to let her, uh, you know, do these things. Neither a wicked woman or got a brow. You know, it's, uh, you know, uh, that's the similarity that the uh, the scripture is given, you know, by saying that the same the woman might do the same thing as a water. Don't let don't let this woman do these things. You don't give a woman that liberty. But you know, this is all part of the curses that. You know, the Lord has uh, bestowed on the man because of, you know, us being the head of the household. You know, we, you know, we transgress the law. We allowed this thing to happen in the ancient time, uh, meaning, uh, you know, transgressing the law. So this is a punishment that the Lord put on the Israelite man to have his woman, you know, out of order. The way we were out of order. Okay. So. Uh, you know. And, and I'm using this situation. Because of this is. And, you know you can. You can probably check in the prison system. You know I'm pretty sure 90% of the men. That are locked down. It has something to do with a woman. And this instant you know. I'm not saying this is how. Uh, young golf got murdered. But you know, it, you know, I'm pretty sh sure that it had uh, uh, Yo Gotti upset about it. You know, because he said uh, Young Dolph said a lot of things in his music. You know, saying that he had him 
hot about these different things that he, you know, you know, talked about, you know. You know, like the saying go, you know, uh, a man can take steel from another man, you know, uh, steal his money out of his house, his, you know, his car, and, you, you know, and but you mess with his woman and he'll kill you, you know. Not saying this is what how a uh, young dog got murdered, but you know it, it, it you know it brought up a lot of uh, strife, okay. And the Lord tells you about being a, an, an adulterous woman, man. You know you stay away from that woman. So let's get the book of the Psalms, not Psalms, but uh, Proverbs. What I'm looking for, uh, Proverbs chapter thirty. Verse 20, it says, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eat it and wipe her mouth and said, I have done no wickedness, you know, and that's what women are. They, you know, you can catch a woman in the actual act, man. And what she'll do, she'll, she'll, she'll downplay the whole situation, you know, like. Like she lost, man. You know, had this look on her face like she got lost, man. Even she got caught and everything, man. You sitting there witnessing what's going on and, you know, she she said she's done no wickedness, you know. And that was the same thing that happened with this uh young, well, you know, young guy, but this guy that I, you know, talked to at, at the plantation, you know. You know, I, he didn't tell, well, he he told a group of us, and he said his wife he he said his wife was uh always said the baby wouldn't go to sleep and and you know it's like so I guess one night he decided to take off early and he went home you know and and and, and he knew he said he knew something was wrong because the bedroom door was closed. So he walked in the bedroom, and his wife was was. He said she was riding him, riding the some some guy, man, you know. And and said uh, and she said the well, what the guy said when he seen him, you know, caught him in the act. Say they didn't even stop; they just kept going. You know, that's just that's a hey, you know. That's just how disrespectful, you know, uh, the the woman is, man. You know, I mean, because you have to put it on the woman because there ain't no action jumping off unless the woman, you know, says it, it's a go. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, women, they try to, you know, uh, go against the man and say the man is dog, blah, blah, and, you know, but... A man can have more than one woman, as long as that woman that he has, you know, is not dealing with another man. You know, and that's scriptural. It's in the scriptures, but you know, that's that's the woman, man. She she she's she's the enemy of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. The Israelite woman that don't know she's an Israelite, you know, sometimes they do know they're Israelites and they still be out there doing whatever, you know. Like the scripture says, she that is my enemy shall see it, man. She gonna see the, you know, the, the her judgment time, you know. Okay, so let's get this. Uh, I think I had one more scripture. Uh, uh let's see, what was it? Uh, did I get this one? Ecclesiastes chapter 25 and verse 24. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, let's go to 26. Okay, it says, this is Ecclesiastes, uh, or the book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 1. It says, Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous woman, a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be double. You know? Which, you know, we'll never find that in this captivity. You know, and it goes down. This is um, verse 20, uh, verse 12. 
same book, the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 26 and verse 12, it says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every hour. And this is talking about that woman. Okay. The woman that you put on the pedestal. The one you call God your queen. You know. This is your queen right. Alright. Verse 13 it says. Grace of a, the grace of a wife delighted her husband. And her de, uh, decretion would fatten his bones. And this is talking about a good wife. A silent and loving wife. A loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. And that's talking about a, a woman that's in order, man. You know, that's doing what she can, you know, to please her, her man, you know. But as you can see in this situation, you didn't have it because if this woman, you know, she knew that that uh, these was two rival rival uh uh you know uh, uh uh rappers man from different sides of the city and the size of the city that beefed you know for the most part i mean you know not all out it wasn't all out you know you from the north or you see you out in the streets if it's a fight but it was mostly in the clubs you know but yeah man this is this is the woman man this woman was a, a wicked woman I mean, let me see if I can find that one scripture. Uh, is it uh, verse 23? Let's get started 22. It says, A harlot shall be counted as spittle, but, as a, ma but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. Okay? A harlot, a hoe. Shall be counted as spittle, man. And spit. Okay? It says, but a married woman is a tower against death to a husband. Now, this is talking about a a, a, a a legit woman that's married. Not just a married woman that's doing whatever the hell she want to do. This married woman is a truly married woman. The point is in verse 23. It says, a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fears the Lord. You see, that's a, hey, that's what it is, man. You know, you got to, you got to watch yourself, man. Out here in these streets, man, with these women, man, they, they, they worse than what the men what used to be. You see, the way they turned all the way up, man. Let's finish this off. Uh, it says a dishonest woman claim it shame. Could contempt the shame, but an honest woman will receive her husband. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's look this word up and see we, what we get out of this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna see what we get out of this scripture here. Uh, this one. Uh. Well, what was it? It says a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. Okay, so we're going to go down to which one I was in. Is that 26? Uh, I think 24. I think it's 24. Contem a dishonored woman contempt the chain. Okay. I'm gonna look this word up. Okay. I guess it wouldn't get to me, so I'm a uh, best meaning. Let's see. What does it mean? Scorn. 
Okay, let's read that again. A dishonored woman scorned shame. A contempt shame, but an honest woman would receive her husband. Yeah, you see? That's beautiful, man. Okay. Verse 25, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is uh, shamefaced will fear the Lord. You see? So, you know, I mean, it's always a chance for repentance for you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women. You know, but, you know, uh, for the most part, most women ain't going to do right. You know, you may get a, a, a half a percent that might do right, but for the most part, it won't be, you know, not here in this kingdom. You know, that's why we pray for few days for uh, the judgment to come down on Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man, to get him out of power. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh or Yahweh Shai can establish, you know, his 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 rulership here on earth, man, as it is in heaven, you know. So we can end it right there and give our praise unto Yahweh. Bashim Yavashah, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash, double honest to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth and shalom to the hopeful elect.